All right, so we're back. It is the start of week two, and uh, man, feeling pretty good. Energy levels, energy levels are still pretty high. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty strong about things, and uh, I'm actually in the parking lot here, right outside of Mariano's, and I'm about to go in and buy some uh, buy some delicious food to cook for my wife for Mother's Day tomorrow. So for all you guys out there who are married, don't forget tomorrow is Mother's Day. And if you have children, your wife is a mother. I know it's simple, and I know it's obvious, but don't forget this. But uh, man, week two is about to start, so I wanted to kind of update you guys on my progress, kind of let you guys know how things are going. And then, as I kind of alluded to in week number one, what I really want to do is I want to make sure that I give you guys one takeaway point every week that you can apply to your own training that you can apply to your own you know, fat loss journey or your, your muscle gain goals or whatever they might be. So for those of you guys that follow me on Facebook or are friends with me on Facebook or might follow me on Twitter or whatever, I can't remember exactly which social uh, media I used to send this video out. But early in the week, so I started training last Wednesday and within like one or two days, here's what happened. My body weight started at 188.8. And I like immediately dropped to 187, and then I was actually floating around the high 186s for the first, within the first couple of days. And so I actually, for the first time ever in my competition career, I decided to up my calories, to increase my carbs early on. So I started at 2,200 calories on day number one. I had that immediate weight drop and I actually bumped my calories up to, at the end of the week last week, I finished averaging about 2260. So I only added about 60 calories overall to my daily numbers. My carbs were 145 to begin with. I actually ended up averaging about 154 or 153 if I look at my spreadsheet. It might be, it might be 153 and some change. So I increased my carbs ever so slightly and I brought my fat grams up just a couple of grams. And so, that might be surprising to a lot of people. That might be surprising to a lot of kind of average people, kind of general population who, who don't compete or who haven't been on stage or who haven't really taken you know a four or five month journey to maximizing fat loss. Most people, myself included in the past, would be like, man, you lost two pounds. Like, that's incredible. Like, you need to keep going. You need to keep your foot on the gas and just keep pressing. That's true to some degree, but my thing this week and the main thing that I want you guys to take away from this video and the one thing that I did earlier this week and that I want to do for the next 14 weeks, you've got to think strategically. You've got to plan strategically rather than constantly acting spontaneously. Rather than responding spontaneously every single time, you have to have a plan laid out. And I'll get into why that is the case later on in just a couple of minutes in terms of you know, why I think this is a bigger problem in today's society. But let me talk in a very practical sense about this first week and over the next four months. So I guess I'm gonna get into it right now. I know having done this so many times, and anybody who has done a long fat loss kind of journey, who has actually really transformed their physique and dropped and shed a ton of fat, you guys know this, man. It's gonna get hard. It's gonna get really hard. It's gonna get really challenging. And I am going to stall, and I am going to plateau, and I am going to fail to progress. So the reality is this. By upping my calories a little bit, by upping my carbs a little bit, what I was able to do was I actually finished the week at 186.6. So I started at 188.8. I dropped to 187, and then I floated around 186.8, and then I dropped to 186.6 here today. I dropped over two pounds the first week. I'm only looking for about a pound and a half a week. That will get me to where I want to be. I know that I'm gonna need these calories on the back end of this. I'm gonna need these carbs on the back end of this. I don't need them right now, apparently. Apparently my body can lose weight, can lose fat at 2260 or 22 and some change. Now I'm aware that a lot of that was glycogen and a lot of that was water, but I didn't expect it to come off in a day or two days. 
And so I want to be strategic and not spontaneous with my numbers because, and here's the point that I want to make about today's society. And here's something that you guys have heard me say ad nauseum. And this thing may become my calling card over the next few months, few years, whatever the case may be. It's not that hard to lose weight. It's really not. Now, a lot of people struggle doing it, and a lot of people fail when they try to do it. But when you think about it, and when you actually break it down, to diet really hard for 12 weeks or 15 weeks, it's not that challenging. But what is challenging? Keeping the weight off. Keeping the weight off. Staying lean staying fit, staying lighter than you've ever been, that takes a tremendous amount of effort. That takes a tremendous amount of discipline. And that is where 99 out of 100 people are going to fail even if they lost the weight. And here is the main reason why. People don't think strategically, they just act spontaneously. People don't actually sit down and lay out, all right, here is my fat loss plan. Here is what I'm gonna do for the next four months. Instead, they think, I wanna get in shape, I wanna lose some weight, so I'm gonna hit the gym. I wanna get in shape, I wanna lose some weight, so I'm gonna stop eating bread. I wanna hit the gym, I wanna lose some weight, so I'm not gonna eat any carbs past 7 p.m. or whatever other baloney people are doing these days or have been doing you know, since all the bro scientists came out of the woodworks in the mid 90s, late 90s. There's nothing wrong with any of that, it's all great. But here is my challenge to you. If you have found yourself feeling the same way, if you have found yourself thinking those same, those same thoughts, here's my challenge to you. Have you thought about what you're going to do when you hit that first plateau? Have you thought about what you're going to do when you have to attend that wedding next week? When you have to go to that birthday party in three weeks? When you have to go to that work function in a month? Have you thought these things through? Have you developed a strategy for these obstacles that are going to happen because they happen to every single one of us? Have you thought of an exit plan for when these three or four months are over, how are you going to maintain this so it becomes part of your life? Because that's what this is about. It's not about stepping on stage. I mean, it is for me, but for you guys, it's about life, man. It's about, it's about making a change that you're gonna stick with. Right? It's about actually saying, this is it, I am done, I am going to make a change. In my opinion, and I've been doing this for a really long time, take it for what it's worth. Maybe you'll discard it, maybe you'll embrace it. That's up to you. In my opinion, you need to start thinking strategically and stop acting spontaneously if you want to make a long-lasting lifestyle change. All right, guys, so I'm hoping that I can hang on to 2260 for this week, but we will see, as I talked about last week in week number one, I am ready to make all kinds of adjustments if I need to. So go back, check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. But I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Man, if you like these videos, if you want to support me, you could share these with somebody else. Send these to somebody else who you think might benefit who is also on a fat loss journey, who is also trying to better themselves physically. Because I've got all kinds of big things planned. I got all kinds of big things coming on down the shoots later this summer. You can also subscribe to my newly created YouTube channel. I'm already into double digit subscribers. So I thank you guys so much. I would love to see a couple more after this video. That would be phenomenal. And it would be totally, totally humbling. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, that's it, man. That's all I got for you guys this week. I will see you guys next week. In the meantime, God bless.